Titanoboa, the largest snake to ever roam the earth, lived around 58 million years ago, and its discovery has unlocked fascinating insights into Earth's ancient past. In the lowland tropics of northern Colombia, Titanoboa was found. This region, known as Serigen, was once a lush jungle with enormous creatures. The discovery of Titanoboa's fossils started quite accidentally when a geologist named Henry Garcia stumbled upon an unfamiliar fossil. This remarkable find was initially labeled as a petrified branch and placed in a coal company display case, forgotten for years. The researchers were eager to find more evidence of Titanoboa, particularly its skull. Snake skulls are rare in the fossil record because they tend to disintegrate after an animal's death. The discovery of a Titanoboa skull was like finding a missing puzzle piece. It offered new insights into the snake's size, diet, and place in the evolutionary tree. Determining Titanoboa's size was no easy task, as they had to rely on individual vertebrae. Through meticulous analysis and mathematical models, scientists estimated that Titanoboa could reach a staggering 42 to 49 feet in length, with an average weight of 2,500 pounds. This made Titanoboa the largest snake ever known. Titanoboa's colossal size raised questions about its habitat and the climate it thrived in. It was a cold-blooded animal, meaning its body temperature depended on its surroundings. The researchers believe that Titanoboa needed a very warm environment, with temperatures between 86 and 93 degrees Fahrenheit, to sustain its gigantic size. The study of Titanoboa's environment provides crucial insights into climate change. The ancient forest where Titanoboa lived was much warmer than today's tropical forests. This has implications for how modern species might cope with rising temperatures due to climate change. While adaptation over millions of years may have allowed some ancient species to thrive in a warmer world, the rapid climate change we are witnessing today presents a different challenge.